I couldn't remember everything from my past, but as the night closed in, I was overwhelmed with this eerie feeling. Someone was following me. I ran to the university where Helen had been working late, but an officer was posted outside. Helen was in trouble. I had to reach her before the scissor man struck again. Helen, I gotta get to Helen. This is me. is going on we haven't even solved the first case yet and now we're dealing with another mass murderer and you sure it was a scissor man yes it was scissor man <sighs> i can already see the headlines scissor man returns you know really hope you weren't daydreaming with jennifer on this one helen but i'll post a policeman outside your home we need to find information on scissor man hold on the statue you two go home and get some sleep i'll take care of it well, that was fun. I bet it was. You know I ain't getting no work done today, right? And why is that? Oh, you have amnesia now. You know Professor Barton will kill us if he finds out. Okay, Baker. You worry too much, love. See what I gotta deal with? But you love me. <laughs> Last one Rose, to the doors of Rotten no Ass. Baker, I told you I hate when you do this. We're not playing in the Rose Garden anymore. <laughs> Baker! Baker, no! No, baby! Why the 
actually could have gotten. The only person who knew where it was was Professor Barton, and he's been called away by the police. You know, I did find these two numbers in his drawer, though. Do you think they may lead us to where the statue is? I'm not sure. This one says Mr. Sullivan, the librarian, and this one says Rick. I'm not familiar with that name. Maybe we should split up. That's a great idea. You know, Professor Barton did say that he wanted to take the statue to get an expert opinion. I'm going to head to the library. Why don't you try and find out who this Rick is? Okay, Helen. I think I might call Nolan. He might know something. Wait. Who's Nolan? Do you know of a man named Rick? I think he may be involved with the clock tower case somehow. Hmm, I see. If it's the Rick I think you're referring to, he's been dead for quite some time now. I mean, he used to be a butler at the Bowers Mansion. How would he be involved? Well, I was thinking that Dr. Barton had given him the statue, but that's impossible now. Me and Helen are almost sure that that statue holds an important piece of information regarding the case. We have to find every little clue surrounding Scissorman and that case. Hmm, I see. All right, well, I'll pay Rick's home a visit. Thank you. I went to the station to talk to Inspector Gotts. While Helen was at the library digging up information on the scissor man, Nolan had went to Rick's home to see what he could find. Tim must have been worried because he arrived shortly after to put in a report. Nolan had not been in touch with him for quite some hours. He was worried. Who knew things could get any worse? Sorry about Rick. Thank you. Rick really was someone special. Nolan, do you know of Barrow's Castle? Uh, is there something I should know about this castle? A monster was born there once. He used to terrorize the local children. His name was John. John? I thought it was a fairy tale too. Until... Well, what happened to him? John was killed by his father. His father was the head of household. And he was the 13th generation of Barrows. So the Scissor Man can be defeated. Do you have a location on this castle? Oh, let me see if I can find it. Nolan, do you have any children? Not at the moment. Well, when you do, cherish every beautiful moment. I can remember being in the castle like it was yesterday. What wonderful times we had there. Until... <laughs> 